Good Morning Texas Home and Wealth, sponsored by Rodney Anderson with Supreme Lending. and the housing market continues to sizzle across North Texas. With lots of buyers and limited supply, you might find yourself in a bidding war for your dream home. So how do you emerge the winner in a bidding battle? Well, here to answer that question is our mortgage expert, Rodney Anderson, and realtor, Colleen Frost with Halo Realty. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, now Rodney, how common are bidding wars in North Texas right now? How come right now? Because the housing market is so hot. According to the Census Bureau, from July 1st of 2014 through July 1st of 2015, 145,000 people moved here. Mm -hmm. That's almost the population of the city of Frisco. Could you wow. imagine Frisco being filled in one year? That's how many people are moving here. That's why the bidding wars are hot. Okay, so help our viewers out. You have several ways to really win that bidding war battle. Yeah, Colleen, I'll let you take some of this. Absolutely, so right now I always wanna say that you wanna be stellar for the seller. So the first thing that you wanna do is, before you go on Zillow and start playing in that crazy real estate market, we tell all of our buyers, get pre-approved. You wanna have a trusted mortgage professional, review your tax returns, review your credit report, if you have any issues with your credit report, you want to get those things taken care of so you don't lose the house, so that you don't you know, put yourself at risk of losing your earnest money, losing uh, investment in your option and inspections and appraisals. And so you want to, um, a couple other things you want to do is, what I recommend for our buyers to do is, especially when you're going up against cash buyers, you can still have a loan and mm -hmm. compete in this competitive market. You know, think about removing the appraisal contingency. Think about, buying the title policy instead of the seller paying for it. Offer a free lease back for one, two, even four weeks. Be stellar to the seller. Wow. Now, I know you like you can see both sides, so I'm really glad right. you're here today. When it comes to the sellers and the realtor, how important is the lender's reputation in this? That's a great question. It's vitally important, and what I always find is when an offer comes across, the first thing that a seller naturally looks at is the sale price. They want to know how much money am I getting. First thing Colleen Frost looks at is I look at that pre-approval letter. I want to know who am I dealing with potentially for the next month? I want to work with someone like this guy who has a proven track record. Well, I want to jump in here because Hale. Yeah. Hail's been pending oh, today. Yes. Hail oh. storm last week. Colleen and I were talking this morning. Seven of her listings did not close not this wow. week because of hailstorm, because the roofs are damaged, because the carpet's uh, damaged, because of windows breaking, yeah. because of everything coming in. And so none of these properties close. When you're oh. working with a lender in California in some cubicle mm -hmm. that doesn't understand a hailstorm, and these ha these closings now, they're dealing with insurance companies, rate they're lock, dealing with delays, huh? rate locks, everything. So there's so much that goes into this mm -hmm. thing. Now, you, you say people should, despite everything that's going on right now, when they get ready to go into this whole game of buying or selling fast and strong. Why is that? Yeah, here's the thing. If the house has been on the market for one day, you're going to have to make a big offer. If your realtor like Colleen yeah. goes in and says, this thing's going to go really quick, then you need to go in fast and strong. Uh, if it's been on the market for six months, then you have the art of the deal, yeah. okay? But don't use the Donald Trump book at the very beginning, the art of the deal, <laughs> if it's been on the market for one day. The other thing, and a great point here, social media is huge. Like Colleen yes. and the realtors use Facebook, Twitter. Before it even hits MLS, it's hitting their Facebook. It's hitting their Twitter so it may hit MLS at 4 o'clock in the afternoon it may hit their Facebook and the Twitter at 9 a.m. in the morning and you can call Realtors make sure you're working with Realtors that are fantastic in your area Colleen is the queen of Murphy ah. okay queen everybody <laughs> knows her she's got YouTube channels everything else so if you're looking for a house in the Murphy Wiley Saxe area you want to yeah. jump under like her social media I have over 2200 people following my Facebook wow. I put my listings on Facebook before they even go into MLS so and people go and look for this. Absolutely, yeah. And I put little sneak peek videos on my YouTube channel so people, and then I cross it over to Facebook so that they can see that before it even hits the market. Wow. So yeah. This social is good stuff. Yeah, so yeah, social media has taken a big play. Social media. You know, work with the great realtors that have been around. You can't do part time realtors when you have to see a house at 9 30 in the morning and you're working with a part time realtor that's going to get off at 5 o'clock at night. Mm. Work with great realtors, work with great lenders, know who they are. And local. In, yeah, local, local. people. <laughs> 
good information from a lender as well as a realtor on what to do to win those bidding wars. Give Rodney a call at 1-800-EXPRESS for more information, or you can go to RodneyAnderson.com. That was good.